stretches as well so we get a little bit of mix of everything so you get a bit of make sure you get a full body flow a full body stretch okay finding your seat grabbing any blocks or anything that you need and sitting up onto a little cushion and move that let's just begin in your seat not on the sofa lid take a comfortable seat on your mat however you want to be there let the legs rest down towards the floor relax and soften the inner thighs the ankles rest your hands wherever feels comfortable palms up or palms down onto your knees or onto your thighs and we'll just begin with lengthening along the spine so just have a little bit of a sway make sure we have equal pressure down through both sit bones and then take a big inhale and just begin to lift the heart up and away from the sit bones. Exhale, drop the shoulders down away from the ears and then visualize those shoulder blades sliding down towards the floor. Already we're feeling that length and lift to the heart. Okay, creating a little bit more space in the lumbar. So now we can close down our eyes and soften and close the mouth and begin to center with our breath. Taking long, even inhales and exhales through the nose. Soften and relax the jaw, the facial muscles, and begin to draw all of your awareness to the here and now. Observing the quality of your breath, the sound of your breath. The feeling and the movement of the breath expanding into the side walls of the lungs, into the belly. And with each exhale, allowing the breath to just let go. Releasing that spent breath, grounding down, surrendering to the exhale as you soften and just connect down to your mat a little bit deeper. Checking in with any little kinks or tension in the body. Bring all of your awareness inward. Letting go of the outside world for the next 60 minutes to just focus your attention on your breath, on your body. Observing without judgment, observing the breath expanding, maybe lengthening, slowing down, seeing the rise and fall of the chest, the movement of the breath within the lungs, within the ribcage. And exhaling, just drawing the base of the ribcage, the navel in towards the spine. Finding stillness, find your center. And then beginning to connect breath to movement. When you take a deep breath in, lift the chin all the way up towards the ceiling. Open the throat, tilt the head back just till you feel a nice stretch. And then use your exhale to softly bow the head forward. So keep the heart lifted, the spine stays long. Just the weight of the head rolling forward, the chin comes in towards the throat. Have a breath there, begin to work both shoulder blades down and away. Just feeling that stretch in the nape of the neck, maybe across the tops of the shoulders between the shoulder blades. Maybe have a gentle sway of the head here, side to side. Just checking with either side of the back of the neck. Both shoulder blades keep pulling down the way, keep the head resting forward and just bring the hands out behind you to interlace the fingers, squeeze the palms together. Roll the shoulder blades back, opening through the collarbones, and maybe drawing the knuckles down and away towards the floor. Just if you feel a nice stretch, don't force it. Maybe lift the hands up behind you if that feels good and right. Just let the weight of the head hang again. Have a gentle rock from side to side with the head if that feels good. <sighs> Breathing into that. The more you squeeze your shoulder blades, you might feel a little bit more stretch in the front of the chest, broadening across the heart, broadening into the rib cage, getting that opening to the front of the shoulders. Squeezing into the hands, relaxing the inner thighs, and then taking the fist of your hands round to your right hip bone. Open the right elbow out wide and roll the head over to the right. So the right here comes to the right shoulder. You feel a nice stretch down that left side. And you can keep your eyes gently closed for all of these stretches just to open up. So that we can keep beginning, beginning to just beginning to tune into how the body feels. Breathe. Both shoulder blades are relaxed. Just enjoying that stretch. Take another big breath in. 
Exhale, pull the hands out behind you, drop the chin down towards the chest, rolling it down. Inhale, take it to the other side. Hands come over to rest on that right uh, left hip bone. Open the left elbow out wide and then roll the head round to the left. The head ear comes down towards that left shoulder. Find that stretch down the right side. Just observe, maybe one side felt a little bit tighter than the other. Keep breathing into the side walls of the lungs. Breathe, let go. Observe if you're holding on into any tension in the jaw, around the face, around the eyes, across the brow. Mm. Inhale, exhale, roll the head forward. Draw the hands out behind you. And then inhale, release the fingers, reach the arms all the way up and overhead, active all the way along the arms to the fingertips. Shoulder blades pull down to fingertips, reach up, tilt the head back to look at the thumbs. Hands kiss together and then exhale to draw it all back down into your heart. When you get there, interlace the fingers, begin to push away through the hands. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, keep pushing through the hands, draw elbows in, begin to round through the spine, tuck the pelvis in, draw the belly button in, push away through the shoulder blades and draw the chin into the chest. Inhale to rise up, hands float overhead, lead with the pinky fingers, shoulders keep pulling down and away. Exhale, roll forward. Find space between the shoulder blades. Inhale to rise. Exhale to push the hands away. Just opening into all of the finger joints, the wrist, along the back of the shoulders, back to the arms, triceps, have a little wiggle. Inhale to rise. And then thigh stretch, plant down through the right sit bone, take the arms over to the left. Don't let that right shoulder roll forward if you can avoid. Inhale, come back through centre. Exhale, take it to the other side. Inhale, rise. Exhale, cactus arms, squeeze the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades, tilt the fingertips behind the elbows. Enjoy that broadening across the chest. Inhale, take fingertips up high, palms facing, look up between the hands. Exhale, squeeze back in, cactus arms. Nourishingly moving into the shoulder girdle and just really thinking about lengthening, finding space along the waist, into each vertebra. Exhale to squeeze. Inhale to rise. Exhale, drop the right fingers down to the floor. Left hand comes over the top of the head, side stretch. Breathe. Take the fingertips to the back of the head, inhale, open the elbow high and wide, squeeze that left shoulder blade back, look up, lift the heart, exhale, keep the sit bones rooted down as you roll forward, find that stretch in the lower back, elbow towards opposite knee, let the head hang, inhale to rise back up. Lift the heart, squeeze the elbow up high, exhale to soften, roll everything, let the head go, find space along the back body, inhale to rise up. Exhale to sink and roll, release the tension in the lower back. Inhale to rise up, release the fingertips back to the stretch and then push down through the grounded hand, come up high with both hands, cartwheeling into the other side. Drop the left hand down, right arm reaches overhead. Push down through that right sit bone, pop up into the side of the rib cage, take it into a little bit deeper. Draw that shoulder back and away so we keep the shoulders in line with the front of the mat, in line with the hips. That right shoulder pulls forward, pulls back, sorry, and the left shoulder comes forward ever so slightly. Breathe out to the fingertips, take the fingers to the back of the head. Inhale to twist from the waist, lift the ribcage, lift the heart, squeeze the right shoulder back. Exhale, soften as everything comes forward to the opposite knee, elbow. Head relaxes. Inhale to rise. Take it up high, look up. Exhale to soften round through the spine. Find a little bit of space. Keep the sit bones grounded if you can. Inhale to rise. Exhale to soften and fold. Inhale to come up. Stretch fingertips overhead. Exhale, push down through that rounded hand. Rise the hands up. Take an inhale to look up. 
exhale into a side stretch to the right, into a twist sorry to the right, left fingertips reach for the right knee, right fingertips come behind the spine when it lands there, get your inhale to lengthen, inhale to lift the heart, drop the shoulders, power out through the crown of the head, exhale maybe shifting a little bit deeper, find softness with your gaze or close your eyes, tune into how that feels around your center, your solar plexus, beneath, beneath the rib cage, above the belly button. Shoulders are relaxed, jaw is relaxed, no tension in the neck. Take an inhale to release. Twisting out, rising fingertips overhead. Exhale, take it to the left. Breathe, look over that left shoulder. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Halfway release to lift the heart, drop the shoulders. Exhale to twist. Inhale, float the hands up overhead, palms come together. Exhale, drawing it all down to your heart. Coming into our first pose, bringing the soles of feet together and making a diamond shape with your legs. So pushing the feet out a little bit further than you would in a normal butterfly pose. We're going to wrap our hands underneath the ankles to rest either on the tops of the ankles or the tops of the feet or even interlace with the toes. When you get there. I'm going to have an inhale first, so we're going to try and find length along the spine, so draw the heart forward, release the inner thighs, lead with the heart and the chin, exhale to come a little bit deeper. Find your pose, find your stretch and then soften in, relax the arms, let the shoulder blades relax and let the head hang from the tip of the neck. So we're going deep into the lower back here, back of the pelvis. Breathe. Allow yourself to find a little bit of stillness here to see whether you can feel any broadening, any opening in the back of the pelvis, the outer thighs, the glutes. Lengthening along the spine by just letting the, heavy, the heaviness of your body relax in. So gravity is doing the job for you. Relax those inner thighs, let the knees fall away. If you need a little bit more, take another inhale, have a halfway lift, find a little bit more length along the spine. Shoulders draw back as the heart reaches forward. And then again, exhale, belly button maybe drawing in to find a little bit more space for your fold. Breathe. Inhale. Use your exhale to begin to release, releasing the hands, unraveling, and just restacking each vertebra one at a time as you come all the way back up to sitting. Drawing the left foot in towards you. Take the right foot out wide. Wide as feels comfortable and flex through the foot. So we're trying to draw the toes in towards the shin bone. Relax the other knee. Roll the shoulders down away from the ears. Take an inhale. Lift arms up overhead. Exhale to twist over to the right and then extend and fold. Inhale to rise back up. Exhale to hinge and fold. Reaching for something just in front of that foot. Inhale to rise. Shoulders draw down, exhale this time to soften in, holding for a couple of breaths, maybe reaching towards the foot, the ankle, wherever your hands land. Try and draw your chest so that you're framing your leg with your shoulders. Heart reaches forward, sinking again, chin to shin or nose to toes rather than knee to nose. Trying to keep the length in the spine, checking in with the hamstrings, the back of the hips, the lower back. The more you flex that foot, the more you'll feel it all the way down to your Achilles, your calf muscle. Breathe, soften in. Draw the belly button in. Use your inhale, reach and rise. <sighs> Exhale to release the hands back down. I'm going to take the right hand down, left hand down, sorry, behind the hip bone. Take an inhale, swoop the hands overhead, lift up onto the knee, point through the toes, squeeze the glutes, push the hips sky high, rotate from the chest, from the heart to open the ribcage. Lift the heart towards the ceiling and slowly release back down. Take it to the other side. Left toes are flexed. Right heel in towards the hips. Plant down equally through the sit bones. Inhale, find some lift and length. Exhale to twist. Take another inhale. Exhale. Hinge and fold. Reaching just a little before that foot, after that foot, even inhale. Engage with the belly to rise up. Shoulders pull down, exhale, hinge and fold. Lead with the heart, inhale to rise. Exhale to settle in. Drawing the chest and the shoulders across that knee. 
across the thigh, draw the head forward, pull back through the sit bones, flex with the foot for a little bit more, breathe. Check in with this leg, see how it feels, hamstrings, inner thigh, outer thigh, glutes, hamstrings, all the way down to calf muscle. The more you flex the foot, you're even opening into the reflex point in the sole of the foot. Breathe. Inhale, reach arms forward. Rise it back up. Exhale, plant right hand behind right hip, rise up. Rotate from the waist to lift the heart. Let the left arm float overhead, point through those left toes, squeeze the glutes. And release back down when you're ready. Bringing the feet together, rolling over the feet to come into a child's pose. You can have knees out wide here, big toes touching or knees closer together. Walk the hands away from you up to the top of the mat and release down onto the forehead. Have a gentle rock here. Just check in with the hip flexors. It's been opening into the back of the hips, so just see how they feel now. Let yourself sink in. Breathe into the backs of the lungs and the more distance you get between fingertips and sit bones, the greater the stretch you'll feel, even coming up onto the very tops of the fingertips, taking the palm up and away from the mat to get a little bit more stretch underneath the shoulder blades. Breathe. Plant down through the hands, take an inhale, lift head, lift heart, halfway stretch, halfway lift. Exhale, lift the hips, bring the knees underneath the hip bones. Taking a cat and cow, but just check your own alignment out. Draw the shoulders down away from the ears. Neck is long, pushing into the tops of the mat with the tops of the feet. Inhale, take your cow, splay open the, the belly, splay open the ribcage, lift the chin, point the tailbone. Exhale, so round and curl everything in into your cat pose. Tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin in. Inhale to release mindful movement, taking a moment to really think about articulating through each vertebra of your spine. As we exhale, find space in the back body, arching the lower back, mid back, draw shoulder blades away, really tuck the head under. Inhale, find space, splaying open the throat, the ribcage, the abdominal. Come back to your tabletop. Going to advance it here. We're going to take an inhale. Begin to lower the hips down. Keep the shoulders over the wrists as you exhale. Draw the heart forward open through the collarbone. Squeeze the glutes. Lift the chin. Look forward. Inhale to round to cat. So we're going to tuck everything under. And then exhale. Push all the way back to child's pose. Kiss them out with the forehead. Inhale to rise again through cat. And then keep the hips going so they come all the way down towards the floor as you exhale, open collarbones, pushing the heart forward, lifting chins, neutral, keep it going, inhale, round. Exhale, just kiss them out with the forehead, push the hips back towards the heels, inhale to rise and round. Dropping the hips down as we exhale, open through the heart, open through the collarbones, lifting up. Let's advance a little bit further, come back to your tabletop. Make sure your fingers are stayed out nice and wide. Make sure elbows are active. So I always do the same thing around my elbows so I know that they're switched on. Draw the shoulder blades down. Engage through the belly to suck the state navel in. Inhale, drop forearm low. And then take your gaze forward. Keep pulling back through shoulders, pulling back through elbows. Exhale, drop chin and chest to the mat. Hips stay high. Inhale, drop hips. Lift belly button. Lift heart. Cobra. So the elbows are still slightly engaged here. And exhale, push it back. So we'll do another ground as so. Inhale, lift hips high, forearms low. Exhale, chin and chest forward, elbow shoulders draw back. Inhale, drop hips, lift belly button. Curl up to your cobra. Exhale, push back, child pose. Kiss mat to the forehead. Inhale, hips high, forearms low. Exhale, come forward and down. Inhale, hips, belly button, heart, chin. Exhale, send it back. Do one more. Inhale, hips high, forearms low. Keep those shoulder blades engaged. As you exhale, drop it down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, child. 
Inhale, rise up, tuck the toes, lift the knees, lift the hips high, downward facing. See how we feel here, tilt the pelvis up high, push equally through both hands, through each fingertip, through the thumb, push the chest back towards the sides, let the head hang and suck the belly button in. Breathe. Just enjoy that stretch, see whether you can get a little bit more movement there. Take an inhale and just round through the upper back, lift your belly and your heart up and away from the mat, lift the chin and then exhale, snake it back in. Inhale, come up out of your flexibility a little bit, rise up, halfway lift, exhale to push it back in. Check in with the shoulder girdle, inhale, rise up, halfway, exhale, push it back in. Walk the hands in towards the feet. Just coming into a gentle ragdoll, forward fold, bend the knees, elbows gripped, and let the head and the arms be heavy as you sway gently from side to side. Let the head go, maybe even shake the head gently from side to side, nod it, yes, no, no. See how it feels? Plant the hands down and then walk the feet out wide, coming off your mat, turning toes in, heels out and hinge and fold. So we're going to lead with the heart, take a halfway lift, come up onto fingertips, and bring the heart down your mat, shoulders pull back, and then use your exhale, keep the tailbone shooting back, and hinge and fold. Take the hands maybe to the ankles, take the elbows up high to broaden across the upper back. Let the head hang again, and a gentle shake to the head here. Breathe. Equally do inner and outer feet, but also do the balls and the heels. So try not to let your hips fall back, more weight in your heels, and not too far forward because you'll fall over. Breathe. Inhale, halfway lift, hands come beneath the shoulders. And then plant down through the left hand, going to the center of your mat, and draw the right arm up high, stacking the shoulders. Send the tailbone up. Behind you, pull the belly button in to get that twist active all the way to fingertips and draw that right shoulder back and away, pushing through that grounded hand for a little bit more twist, opening, broadening the chest. Breathe. Inhale, lower it back down, take it to the other side. Taking the hand up high, push through the grounded hand, stack the shoulders, squeeze that left shoulder back. Hands active, tailbones pointing, get it all the way up to the inner side, push down through the big toes to lift the arches of your feet, so we're really working up to the groin. And gently lower it back down. Turn the toes out. Begin to float upper body up, so we're coming into a goddess pose. Push the tailbone down, engage through the belly, so suck the core in. Push through the hands, squeeze down through the glutes, have a gentle rock. Take the hands to the insides of the inner knees, thumbs up the back of your thighs. Roll the shoulders back, take an inhale, and then as we exhale, we're going to come to a twist to the left. So the right shoulder drops down to the center, look up over the left. Inhale, come back up to the center. Exhale, left shoulder drops, look up over the right. Inhale, rise, shoulders back, and one more. Exhale to dip and twist. Other side. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Exhale, sink back in, palms to heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sink. Inhale. See whether you can go a little bit deeper with each one. Exhale to sink back in. Inhale, rise it back up. Turn the toes in. Walk the feet in a little bit. Inhale, reach arms overhead. Exhale, come into a side stretch to the right. Right hand comes down the right leg. Left arm comes over top of the head. Breathe here, find space beneath the ribcage. All the way down the obliques, all the way down that left leg. Draw the left shoulder back. Find a neutral point for your gaze. Inhale, strong, use the belly to rise up. Exhale, other side. Right shoulder draws back. Left hand comes down the left leg. Plant down equally through both legs. Try and keep the hips square. Neutral point to your gaze, whether it's the floor, straight ahead or underneath the arm. 
So you can get a little bit more stretch. Inhale, strong through the belly to rise it. And then exhale to hinge and fold. Walk the feet in. The hip width, and then walk the hands forward, coming into a plank pose. Take a flow here, so either inhale, drop the knees, or drop one knee. Use your exhale to lower down, chaturanga, chin and chest, come to the mat. Inhale, drop the hips, lift belly button, rise up, cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, push it back up, down facing. Breathe here. See how the legs feel, see how the arms feel. Fill the pelvis up high, set the belly button in, let the head hang. And then draw the feet together behind you, so the toes are touching. Keep pushing equally back through the hands, push down through the heel. Inhale, take the toes up, take the heels up high, keep pushing back through the heart. Exhale, drop them straight back down. Inhale, come up high. This time, twisting the toes to the right, the heels to the left, bend into the knees and push the hips back towards the heels. You can keep the right hand grounded, or we can float it up overhead. Maybe crossing the right leg over the left eagle leg. Push the hips up high. Arm floats overhead. Draw that right shoulder back. Strengthening that grounded hand. Have a bounce, see how it feels. And then the hand floats back down, twisting back up onto the toes. Push the shoulder, the head and the heart back towards the side. Big breath in as we begin to twist to the left. All toes go to the left, heels come to the right. Maybe the left hand floats. Maybe we cross the top leg around the bottom. Lift the hips away, push it up around the hand. Draw that left shoulder back. Have a bounce. And left hand floats back down. Unravel, come back to your downward facing. Breathe, send the hips high. Each time we come back to a pose like down dog, child's pose, or even standing Tadasana, just noticing if it feels a little bit stronger, a little bit more open, maybe slightly easier each time you come into it. Just observing without judgment. Walk the feet a little bit closer together. Inhale, right heel up towards the ceiling, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to chest, and then stepping it all the way through between the hands. Drop the back knee down. Plant down to the front foot, make sure it's beneath the ankle. The knee is beneath the ankle, and the ankle is beneath the knee. I really can't talk today, sorry. Inhale, reach back through the thumbs. Push the hips back. Exhale, begin to settle in. So rock on that back knee, maybe need a pillow underneath that back knee. Keep the hips square. Make sure we're in alignment, just checking with those hips. And wrap elbows, hands around the elbows. Open elbows wide, find space beneath the ribcage. Let the hips sink forward, low lunge. Breathe. Maybe releasing into cactus arms and then taking the hands out behind the hips, interlacing fingers. Big breath in, squeeze elbows back, squeeze shoulder blades, squeeze shoulders, um, collarbones open. Pull knuckles down towards the mat behind you. Find Joshi. Keep pushing through that front foot. Inhale to release fingers, take the hands up high. Right hand comes to right knee, left hand comes to mat, tuck the back toes, lift the back kneecap, open right arm up to the ceiling. Check in with the hips, make sure that right hip's still pulling in. Nice and square, push away through the back here. Stack the shoulders, reach through fingers, look up to that top thumb. Hand comes back down to the outside of the foot, and then taking that front foot up, send it up high behind you. Breathe, keep pushing back equally through the hand, sink the heart, push down to the left heel, right toes float high. Inhale, come forward, drop that back knee. Exhale into the flow, elbows hug back, shoulders fall back, chin and chest comes down. Inhale, drop hips, drop leg, lift belly button, lift heart, rise up, cobra. Exhale. Push it back. Downward dog. And one more full breath here. 
and down to the right foot. Left foot rises up high. Big breath in and then exhale, step the knee to the chest, stepping it through. Check your alignment before dropping that back knee down. Inhale, when you're ready to rise. Arms float overhead, hips push back. Shoulders draw down and away. Exhale, lowering the hips forward and down. Opposite wrap of the elbows with the hands. Open the chest. Nice your balance. And a little bit more lift off through the heart. And space beneath the ribcage. Let the hips relax as they fall forward. And that stretch in the other hip flexor. Quad. Inhale, open into your cactus arm. Exhale, reach hands behind you. Inhale, roll shoulders back. Open through the collarbone, squeeze shoulder blades. Pull knuckles down to the mat behind you. Inhale, arms come up high, stretch it out. Exhale, plant right hand to the mat. Left hand onto the left knee, tuck back toes, lift back kneecap. Inhale, left hand opens up to the ceiling. Tuck the left hip back in, keep the hips square. Push your way through that back heel, lift that back kneecap. Shoulders down away from the ears, reach through those top fingers. Lift the heart round to the left. Three. And taking the fingers all the way back down to the floor, get a little bit of momentum so we can kick off the back foot, coming all the way up to the top of the mat and straight into your forward fold. While you're down here, check in that your feet are parallel with each other, underneath the hips, and parallel with your mat. You can bend the knees here, have a gentle rag doll if it feels better. If you want to work a little bit harder on your hamstrings, maybe gripping the ankles, open the elbows out wide, send the tailbone up high, draw the chest and the head down towards the floor. Rather than in towards you, trying to avoid the curling and the rounding of the spine, Thinking more about leading with the heart, tilting the pelvis, getting a little bit more length in those hamstrings into the glutes. Let the head go. And then either rolling up or coming up with our Superman wings. Inhale, flat back, reverse swan dive all the way up to standing to Dasana. Arms reach over the head, squeeze the glutes, push the hips forward, and then exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, one more. Full body stretch. Exhale, hands to heart. Take your awareness into your left foot. <coughs> Plant down with your head of bandage, so equally between the balls and the soles of the feet. Left foot completely grounded. Push through the palms. And I don't know if you can see this on the camera. Send your tailbone down towards the floor. So make sure you're not. See how I tilting here in this overarch of my lumbar spine. By sending the tailbone down ever so slightly, it makes the core more able to really squeeze in. So it just engages everything a little bit more. Push through palms, shoulder blades draw down. Push down to your feet, lift up kneecaps. And begin to peel right heel, find your drishti, toes float up off the mat. And you just work on, if you're working on your balance, maybe just starting here, getting a little bit of strength in that standing leg. Finding a drishti which is at floor level tends to help me more than if it's at eye level, but that might just be me. Engage with the core, see how high we can lift that leg up away from the floor. Maybe once we get there, we can interlace fingers and draw the knee up to our chest. Flex through the foot, draw the shoulders down, lift the heart, keep the tailbone shooting down. Maybe we're wobbling, maybe it's just your stabilizers getting stronger. So we can stay here for a moment, or we can come into happy baby, slide the right hand down towards the foot or the ankle, begin to lift the foot up out in front, and then squeeze it in towards that right shoulder. The more you lift the foot, the stronger you'll get the stretch into the hamstring back of the glute. Have a gentle bend to that standing leg if you need to, but try not to let your hips push forward, try and keep them drawing back, tailbone shooting down, left hand onto the left hip, open through the shoulders, shoulder blades swing down towards the floor. Breathe into that stretch, standing balance, clearing the mind, focusing all of our attention, really improving our body-mind awareness. Slowly, slowly releasing the leg down and coming straight into a canter pose, the eagle legs, 
for staying the legs down. We can keep hands on hips here, make sure your hips are square. You want to come into full eagle pose. Left elbow crosses over right elbow. Opposite leg, the hand. So the shoulders down and away. Squeeze elbows together, sink into that standing leg. And then begin to push the forearm away. You'll get more of a stretch across the upper back, between the shoulder blades, across the shoulder blades. Find that neutral point for your gaze. Soften your jaw. Don't worry if you're wobbling, we'll always come back. Breathe, releasing the groin, releasing the inner thigh. Strengthen that standing leg, stretching the back of the shoulders. Inhale, big unravel. Push the right toes out in front. Exhale, hands to heart towards the mat. Roll shoulders down, do a little roundy, circly thing with that left foot just to release that ankle. Taking it to the other side, taking all of your attention down to your right foot. Bend that tailbone down, tuck the pelvis under slightly, engage your core, push through the hands, shoulders pull down. Begin to peel. Left heel slopes up, toes slopes up. So even if we're just working on our balance here, Maybe the knee comes all the way up to the chest, giving it a nice squeeze. Rotate the ankle again for good measure. So staying here if it's enough for you today, or coming down, grip the foot or the ankle, open the foot up high, squeeze the knee up towards the ankle, flare off hips, flex through the foot, draw the shoulders down, belly button in. Lift the heart, find a little bit more length. Push down through that grounded leg. Really connected to the balls and the heels of the feet. Tiny little adjustments going on all the time. Breathe. Slowly releasing. Hands to hips to come into eagle leg. Wrap that left foot around the right. Sink in. Maybe staying here if we're working on our balance. We need our hands just in case we fall out. Otherwise, eagle arms right. Elbow over left elbow, opposite elbow to opposite knee. Squeeze shoulder blades down and away, broaden across the back, settle into that knee. Exhale when you're ready, push the forearms away, get a greater stretch across the upper back. Keep drawing that belly button in if the core is super active. Great for strengthening your legs for skiing or any kind of, even walking on the slippy roads at the moment. Any adjustments you need to make, it all comes from your core, your balance. So working on these is really good for your general well-being out on those slippy roads. Breathe. When you're ready, big unravel, release arms, reach overhead, kick those left toes away. Exhale, foot to the mat, hands to heart. Maybe rotate that right foot. Breathe. <coughs> Sorry. Stabilize into your Sadhana. When you're ready, big breath. Reach arms up, push hips forward, squeeze those glutes, lean back. Exhale to hinge and fold. Sadhana. Inhale, halfway lift to lengthen. Coming up, hands on shins or thighs or onto the mat. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Stepping back, right foot to the back of the mat, coming into a lunge. Push away to the back heel, push forward through the front knee. Make sure hips are square. And inhale to rise. Inhale, reaching up. As we exhale, coming into warrior two. So rotate on the back foot. Drop that back heel down. Opening the right hip up. Hands in line with shoulders, reach away through the fingertips. Just making sure that we're really leading with that right hip bone, but the left leg doesn't move, stays over that front ankle. Push down through the outer edge of the back foot. Pull up on that back kneecap. Pull the shoulders down away from the ears. Make sure we're not leaning forward or back. So you want to be over the top, shoulders over hips. Gaze over those left fingertips. Push through the palms. Feel that flex into the wrists all the way along forearm to shoulder. Inhale, turn palms up, all the way up. Exhale, come back down to the flex. Inhale to rise. Exhale, flex. Inhale, this time left hand, right hand, sorry, comes down the back leg. Inhale, rise, left. Come on, 
left arm reaches overhead, twist from the waist, lift the heart, so the right shoulder draws forward as the left shoulder draws back. That right hand can either come to your lower back or rest on the back leg. Don't want to pull that front back knee back with us. Just want to reach, opening all the way down that front left thigh. All the way to the oblique. Keep pulling up on that back knee, have the back legs active. Inhale to rotate, cartwheel the arms, dropping into extended side angles so the elbow can come to the thigh. Right arm reaches overhead. I want to try and find space all the way down the right side. Active the fingertips, keep pushing into that front knee. If you wanted to come a little bit further, we can take the hand down to the mat. So the elbow is pushing, the knee is pushing into the tricep. Keep lifting the heart up to the right. Draw that right shoulder back. Reach through the fingers. Three. Big inhale to cartwheel. This time straighten that front leg. Cartwheeling in Super Warrior. Straight X. Breathe. Lift the heart. Coming all the way to the mat, cartwheeling in here. Back down to the mat. Big step back with the left foot to your plank or down with your knees. Pull the shoulders back. Inhale. Drop one knee, drop both knees, or shoot forward if you're in plank. If you want to do full chaturanga, exhaling. Inhale, drop hips, lift belly button. Round up, open through collarbones, belly, chin. Exhale, tuck toes, bend the hips up high, downward facing. One more big breath in. Inhale, step it forward all the way to the top of the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up to lengthen. And then step back, left foot all the way to the back of the mat. Square off the hips, find your grounding, find your stability first. Inhale to lift heart, lift arms, float up. Find your balance, and exhale to open into warrior two. Lead with the left hip, rotate on the back foot, drop the foot down so it's parallel to the back of the mat. Heels should be roughly in line, but not too big a deal if you want them to be a little bit more over, a little bit wider. Push into that front knee. Get your grounding, arms and down the shoulders, looking over those front fingers, those right fingers. Breathe, find your strength here. Flex through the hands. And then inhale, rotate palms up, rise. Exhale, flex. Inhale, rise. Exhale, flex. Inhale, rise. And then exhale, coming all the way down into your people warrior, so left hand can come round. Rotate the chest, we're rotating the chest forward. Right shoulder comes back, left shoulder comes forward. Right arm, inhale, overhead, reach through fingers. Breathe, look up. Keep pushing into the front knee for now. Cartwheeling into the inhale, into our extended side angle, whichever variation you prefer. Hands lightly, uh, elbow lightly on the thigh. Keep pushing away to the back. Outside edge of the foot, lifting to the back knee cap. Hands can come to the floor if we're there. Lift the heart, active through fingers. Legs are strong. Inhale, straight in front leg, push back, keep the warrior straight leg. Breathe. Inhale, cartwheeling. Arms down to the mat, big step back, take your chaturanga with your exhale. Knees down, one knee down, or no knees down. Inhale, hips. Belly button, heart, head, exhale, cobra push up, lower forehead back down, inhale, push it back up, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, come back up, tuck the toes as we exhale, downward facing dog, sink the heart. Push back through the hands, let the head hang, find that length in the neck, no tension there. Inhale, right toes rise. Exhale, knee to chest, come forward with the shoulders, and then dropping down into your pigeon pose. Right knee comes to right wrist, and the right foot's behind the left. Push the body back, slide it away. Inhale, come up on fingertips, push through the fingers to rise up. Square off the hips, just make sure that right hip comes forward, left hip comes forward, uh, comes back, right hip comes back, left hip comes forward. Another inhale, find space. Exhale, fold.
shoulder forward, either onto forearms or onto arms, make a pillow with your hands, or stretch the arms out, maybe palms open to the ceiling if that feels good, rest down on the forehead. Don't sink over onto that right hip, try and keep the hips square. Relax that back leg. And let the body feel heavy here. Allow yourself this moment to settle back into your breath. We've been slowing, connecting breath to movement, but now it's just time to let go. Let the weight of the body take you into the stretch. The, the more you relax, the more you concentrate on deepening your breath, slowing down your heart rate, just taking nice long deep breaths, the more your body will have the ability to open up and lengthen and stretch into the hips. Breathe, relax here. ready to release just take one more full breath in full breath out of here another inhale to begin to lift head lift up and walk the hands back in come back up onto forearms if you're not there already and begin to lift the heart back and away let that right hip drop down now to the floor and then reaching back with the left hand and bending into that left leg draw the heel in towards your glute and if you get cramps then don't bother Heel draws in. We can turn to the left so that we're not forcing our lower back in any way. See how it feels to begin with. Just open into that left quad, quadriceps. If it feels good, maybe drawing the hand back towards the knee. Maybe rotating the chest to look forward. So then it's trying to get a little bit stronger when you do this. Maybe rotate the chest forward. Breathe. Feel that slow release in the quadriceps. And then releasing the back foot. And crossing all the way around into a twist. So if this is un unavailable, if it doesn't feel quite right, you don't feel like you can get the, the full long spine here, you can straighten out the bottom leg. Do whatever feels good and right for you. Otherwise, tucking the foot under beneath that left glute. Left hand comes behind the spine. Inhale, reach up to the right. Exhale to cross it over the chest to come to the outside of the left thigh. Take another inhale. When you get there, drop the shoulders, lift the heart. Exhale. Push knee to elbow, elbow to knee to look over into that left shoulder. Relax the leg. Breathe. Pushing down through that left hand behind you to try and lift and lengthen along the spine. Try and reach your point to your gaze or close the eye. Breathe into that twist, checking in with the spine, muscles around the core, back of the waist. Big breath in. Exhale to unravel. Come into shoelace briefly, so if um, you went for the extended leg option, same thing applies, you're just going to pull, draw the um, left foot towards the outer right thigh, hip bone. It's not for everybody, so don't worry if this isn't for you. Settle in. Maybe a pillow underneath the hip bone if you're a bit wonky. Settle in, draw shoulders down away from the ears, lift the heart. Inhale, plant down through the left hand, reach up through the right. Draw the shoulder down as we exhale, coming into a side stretch. Inhale, cartwheel in the other side. Leg extended or folded underneath. Same thing, inhale, rise up. Both hands overhead and this time exhale to hinge and fold. Lead with the heart. Let the hands land wherever they want to land. Draw the heart forward, pushing down through the sit bones, and then let the head hang. Don't worry about how far forward you can fold. Just tune into that stretch wherever you are, even if you're sitting up quite tall, feeling that stretch in the back of the glutes, outer thighs, lower back. Relax that top leg. Let the top knee fall away, whether the bottom leg's extended or not. Mm. Breathe. Mm. 
let yourself go heavy, sink in. Drawing that heart forward, you're still looking down the length in the lumbar. Wherever you are, see if you can keep that hinge going, move with the heart, maybe even lift the chin and then let it go. This is one of those level height poses. I could stay here all day and I still would feel tight around my back of my glutes. That feels so good. Get ready to release slowly from any deep stretch. Take a big breath in, just to signal to your body you're going to get ready to move. And then with your exhale, let your hands do the work for you. Walk the hands back in towards the glutes. Rise up, roll the shoulders down, find that long straight spine. And then unraveling the legs, sit back onto your glutes and come into your boat pose. You can have your hands onto the backs of the thighs if you need to. Draw the shoulders back, broadening across the chest. The chest. Shoulder blades squeeze in, squeeze knees together, squeeze feet together, pull up on the pelvic floor, reach your arms out in front if it's there for you, but suck the arms back into their sockets. So we're keeping those shoulders open. Try not to round to the upper back, heart lifted forward. And then dropping the left knee down first, twiddling the professional work on your hips to send that right leg back behind you. We're going to come into our pigeon on this side. Just check in, that right hip wants to come forward slightly, left hip to come back. Inhale, take a halfway lift, bring the heart forward and up, find that stretch. And then exhale, lead with the heart, drop down onto forearms, onto arms and forehead, whatever feels good. And settle in on this side. Let gravity take over. See how your glutes feel. Come and feel it into that left hip now. Relax the right leg, let it completely soften. Weight of the body doing the work for you. Surrender, soften arms, soften shoulders. Relax the facial muscles, relax the jaw. Are you holding on to any tension in that left thigh that you can release, the left glute? Try not to fall all the way over onto that left hip. You can avoid it. Try and keep the hips square. Nice big breath. Exhale to your mouth. Side all out. Take another inhale, get ready to move. And then when you're ready, with your exhale, begin to walk the hands back in. Dropping down on that left hip now and turning to the right to reach back for that right foot. Take your time. See how it feels on this side. Just gently squeezing the knee in to foot in towards the hip. If it feels good, maybe then rotating the chest, the shoulders back to the front of the mat. Get a little bit more, depending on where your tightness is. Yeah, see if you can just breathe through that gentle release. And just notice the intensity quite often starts off really sharp and then when you focus your attention to that stretch, focus on relaxing the muscles around your flexibility. It just suddenly starts to lengthen, to soften, even if it just gives ever so slightly, it just becomes slightly easier. Making sure that it's getting into every part of the body with our practice. And then releasing gently that back leg and drawing the knee in and across. Come into our steeper twist onto the other side. So remember, if you need to just take that left bottom leg and stretch it out in line with the hip. Take the right fingertips behind the spine. Make sure we can sit up tall. If we can't have a long spine here, if it's, if it's feeling restricted, then just straighten the bottom leg. It's better to be able to breathe deeply than to try and get into a position that just doesn't feel right. Inhale, left arm reaches overhead. Exhale to begin to twist from the core, from your solar plexus, to cross the elbow down toward the outside of that knee. Inhale again when you get there, lift the heart, drop the shoulders. Exhale to twist. Knee into elbow, elbow against knee. Breathe into that. So we're restricting the base of the ribcage with our chest slightly, but we still want to find that length. We still want to feel the opening of the rib, rib cage with each inhale. Breathe into the side walls of the lungs. Shoulders away from ears, no tension in the neck. Trying to remain neutral, soften our facial muscles. 
I'll do my crusty apple back. Three. Inhale. And then exhale to release. Slowly rotating back to centre. Coming into shoelace on the other side. Drawing the foot back towards the hip. Settling both hips down and onto the mat. I'll do the same thing again. Side stretch first. So once you're settled in, lift the heart. Inhale. Left arm reaches. Exhale. Overhead. Inhale, cartwheeling up and over. Exhale, shoulder turn away from the ears. Take it to the other side. Inhale, both arms reach overhead. And bend down through the sit bones. Fingertips forward. Hinge from the hips. Inhale, halfway lift the length and bring your heart up. Shoulders back, collarbones open and then lead with the heart. Softening body, curating body over those legs. Don't worry about how far you fold. We could be active with walking fingers forward if you need a little bit more. If your fingers are reaching forward, make sure your shoulders are still drawing back so your shoulders can relax onto your upper back. So let them fall away. Let the head hang. Let that top leg relax. Feeling it stronger in the right hip this time. The top leg always a little bit stronger as you lay. See if you can relax in. Tune in to wherever the intensity is. Wherever your pose is, don't worry about how far forward you fold. Maybe drawing the belly button in towards the spine, get a little bit more space around your middle to allow yourself just that little bit more space to fold. You'll notice the more you go heavy, the more you relax, lower back just slowly lengthens, top leg falls away. Don't worry if the bottom legs are out, same thing. One more full breath here. Mm. Inhale to get ready. And then exhale to walk the hands back in. Unraveling the legs. And taking the body all the way down to rest onto your back. Squeezing both knees up into the chest. Keep the tailbone grounded. Have a gentle rock here. Squeeze the left knee into the chest and take the right leg long along the floor and gaze through your lower abdominals to lower that foot down. Keep squeezing left knee into the chest. Relax the shoulders. Squeeze shoulder blades together underneath the body and then relax them. You can circle that left foot, getting rid of any little air pockets in the ankle joint and the toes. Mm. And begin to straighten that left leg. We can interlace our fingers behind the thigh or behind the calf if it's available, or maybe if it's there for you, we can reach all the way up towards the fingers, even using our left two fingers around that thumb. You can use a scarf, or you can just keep gripping the back of the ankle. Just try and straighten that knee as much as you can. It's options here, you have your choice, do whichever feels good and right for you. For a nice hamstring stretch, make sure that both hips are equal. So we use our right hand onto that um, right hip, just to keep that right hip grounded. Flexing through the foot for a little bit more stretch. And then whether your knee's bent or straight, begin to open that left leg down and out to the left. Feeling it into the inner thigh. Don't worry about how far it goes. As soon as that right hip starts to lift up, then just stop there, have a little bit of stretch. Keep flexing through the foot. You can even use a bend in that left elbow if we're there. Just to help a little bit more. Breathe. Inhale, bring the foot back up to centre. Swapping hands. So whether you go to your ankle, your thigh, or your toe, take the left arm out in line with the shoulder and take the foot over to the right. Twisting through the solar plexus. Keep the shoulders grounded. Keep the foot flexed. Keep that left shoulder down, coming over just to where you feel a stretch. Maybe it reaches the floor, maybe it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Breathe. Enjoying that twist. Breathe into the heart. Breathe into the lungs. And inhale. Send the foot back up high. 
knee to chest, nice strong hug. Do it on the other side. Squeeze the right knee in. The lower left foot down using the lower abdominal. And begin to lift the right foot up towards the ceiling, keeping the knee bent. To begin with, you can start with the hands behind the hamstring. Maybe moving up towards the ankle or the calf if that feels good. Check in, arms on this side. Left hand can come to left hip. Maybe getting all the way up to the toes. Don't worry if you don't. It would be the knee bent if you prefer. Flex through the foot, let the right leg, the left leg relax as you're flexing to the right. It's all about the right leg this time. And coming into the open. Maybe lowering. Keep the foot flexed, taking the foot out wide to the right. Just to really feel the stretch. The left hip starts to rise up. We find as far as we're going to go. Keep shoulders grounded. Breathe, keep flexing. Find that stretch in the inner thigh. See how it feels. Breathe. Inhale to rise back up nice and strong. Using the abdominal. Swapping hands. Keep your knee bent if you need to. And just taking the foot around to the left. Take the right arm out in line with the right shoulder. Taking it over just where you feel a stretch. Keep that right shoulder grounded, palm open to the ceiling, relax the legs. Left leg relaxed, right leg still flexed. Find that twist again around the rib cage, opening, allowing the spine to make any adjustments it needs. When you're ready, nice big inhale to rise back up to center. Squeeze both knees into the chest. Nice strong hug. Touch your knee up towards me, uh, nose up towards me. And then release into a nice full body stretch. Arms overhead, legs are long along the floor. Find space and distance between fingertips and toes. Arch the spine up with your inhale to try and lift the ribcage. Even if it doesn't lift, just get the, in, in, the impression or the, the sensation that we're springing the ribcage up from the floor. As we exhale, just draw space of ribcage, belly button in towards the spine. Feel those abdominals all switched on. Then inhale, release those muscles and spring. Ribcage up and away from the floor. Keep pointing to the toes, reaching through the fingers. Exhale, squeeze, lower abdominals. Space of ribcage, belly button in. Inhale to spring. Exhale to squeeze. Turning on those abdominal muscles, pelvic floor. Inhale, release, rise the arms up overhead. Exhale, drop the hands down, either side of the hips. Palms open to the ceiling, relax the shoulders, just check your own alignment out. Open the heels out wide, and then rocking onto the outer edges of the heels so the toes can point up. Grabbing any blankets or anything you want here for Shavasana. Have a couple of minutes of quiet Shavasana. Allowing your body to relax. Your spine to neutralize the board of your muscles, your connective tissues. Come back to their natural place, to your internal organs. You absorb all of the benefits of your practice. Focus all of your awareness onto your breath. Really zoom in to your innermost self. You focus on just the natural rhythm of your own breath. Feeling the expansion in the belly with each inhale. Now the abdomen to expand, the rib cage to become full of prana. And that simple process with each exhale just to let go. Not forcing the abdominals now. Not forcing the breath, but just observing.
you were free to stay in Shavasana. But as long as your body, your mind is wanting to today, if you wanted to wake up and close your practice with me, begin to take a couple of super deep breaths to feel that expansion into the rib cage. Get a little bit of movement in the body once more. Maybe reach arms overhead, bring toes and feet.